Hello everyone, it's Kay back again and please don't groan, I'm still <laughs> showing steampunk romance because I've had another day of it and you know you see some people and they go, oh, I've killed a, a 6 by 6 pad today, meaning they've got rid of everything that was in the pad, making humongous amounts of cards and that kind of thing. Well I seem to be on this um, road of let's see what we can get out of the papers that I've purchased here and I have having watched Kim can't craft enough um, she was making tags today out of cardboard boxes and that kind of thing and I, and I got to thinking how long it had been since I'd made tags or anything and then I thought well this could be another way to utilise this very beautiful paper. Now I've not touched the small 6x6, six six, oh, 5 by 5 sorry, at the moment. I haven't touched that at all and this is the 80 sheets, 10 designs and it's got sentiments and all manner of beautiful things and there are colour changes in it and that kind of thing. I've not even started on that yet so bear with me people. You know if, if it gets a bit too much for you then do feel free to lie down or fast forward or just you know step away from steampunk romance it's easier said than done I still have all of these wonderful pieces of ephemera I just you know I'm using it using it and it just doesn't seem to be wanting to disappear and this 8b8 well I have dented it and when you recap what I've actually made with it it amounts to two um, journals, albeit relatively small ones. I've made nearly 20 embellishments in my batch cooking of yesterday and thank you for all the lovely comments I've had from them. I am delighted that so many people have enjoyed seeing the embellishments in full. So now I'm going to probably bore you, well I hope not, but you know, it gets that way, with some tags. Kim can't, Kim can't stop crafting, that's, that's the lady that I watched this morning. And you know, it's one of those things, I went out into the recycle bins because the, the dustman came today and I'd actually thrown away some empty boxes of my dog's biscuits and that kind of thing and I thought well let's just pull that out and see what I can do with it and I've actually made four tags which I will bring in a little bit at a time using the steampunk romance paper and the ephemera and some dyes just you know that I have in my stash I've not actually put anything just come in a little tiny tiny little bit I've not actually put anything in the eyelet at the top there I don't know if I, it's probably too close isn't it I just want you to see the hole and it's it's not a huge tag it is four by six and a half inches. I've backed them on both sides with the steampunk romance paper. I've introduced a little bit of lace on the bottom here. I've used glossy accents. I don't know, oh yes you can just about see it, on key points within the design paper. A tiny little key here, I think they were from the works about 20 for a pound. They're plastic, it's not metal, but they do add that little something to it. Wild orchid craft flowers and leaves and then I'd strip down an old bracelet and use the um, metallic looking beads there just nestled in amongst the flowers. All to good effect, I think. I've not put sentiments on them. Some of them have sentiment, some of them don't. But, you know, 
were it to require a sentiment then that could easily be remedied so that is number one and it was definitely batch cooking again I just couldn't help myself having cut out my four tags that's how many I made this is number two and they are very similar although not identical I have used um, the same components in each of the card in each of the tags but you'll see some are square some are round some have quite extensive floral tributes and leaves they've all got this sort of lucky white heather thing going up around the edge of the die this leaf die I think was from memory box I think and I've just anchored that down with some glue again on various aspects of the ephemera just to bring it to life I've used the glossy accents I do love that look I think it just brings another dimension to the work and then of course the wonderful steampunk romance papers on the back I kept all the backs pink but I did want to finish them I burnished around the edge of the uh, tags with Mm -hmm. I think Mahogany Distress Ink from Tim Holtz and then we go to another square one and you'll see the floral tribute here again is different I've probably done a bit more with the um, glossy accents each of them have got the eyelet in the top and it is just variations on some I've used a little bit of American seam binding on on to I haven't but they have come up so very very nicely I'm actually thrilled to bits with them and this is another this is the last one that I did and by that time I decided I didn't want so much flower as I wanted the ephemera to speak for itself and the little black leaf work here there's the American seam binding I have utilized the little bronzy colored beads on leaves and things but it's discreet it's not terribly out there and taking away from the overall loveliness of the design paper so if I bring it out here these are the four tags and I will be adding one of these to the little giveaway that I mentioned yesterday um, thank you to all of those who have asked to be counted in I am delighted to do so it is for my international subscribers as well as these things don't weigh a great deal and shouldn't cost a whole lot to send out so it is open to all of my subbies irrespective of where you live so again all you have to do is go back to yesterday's video and say count me in to receive one of these tags as well I thank you once again for joining me I don't know how many more days I will use the steampunk romance papers I must confess to having bought another paper pad but it's more to keep than to use again I just think it is absolutely wonderful and I've enjoyed so much working with it Joanna Sheen is uh, on her site currently holding the um, paper boutique range and they've she, in in her shop particularly she's got the steampunk romance she's got the latest christmas one um, so if you're at all interested and you just want free postage which you get with orders over 10 pounds then do go along and check out the store where was I? Ah yes, so thank you as I was saying very much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure to work on these again and bring them to you. I've just noticed I've got pink and white bra eyelets and, and um, 
they do kind of change around a bit. There's the OCD in me saying, right, let's alternate them and all the rest of it. However, it doesn't affect <laughs> the overall look of these glorious tags. So I hope, again, you've been inspired, that you've enjoyed my little share. If there is anyone that says no more steampunk, hey, then I will endeavour not to overcrowd your sensibility with it. But hopefully everyone is enjoying seeing the makes as much as I am making them. Take care everyone. Happy crafting. Bye bye for now.